In the past, approximately 20 years ago, I was active on 27 MHz and I made um, an SVR meter purely experimental and that's here. The SVR meter is in fact a very simple um, circuit. When you send in into an antenna a certain radio signal on a certain frequency and the antenna is not uh, tuned to that proper frequency, part of the energy goes back into the transmitter. And that can give a lot of problems. So the SVR meter uh, makes visible how much energy is sent into the antenna and how much energy comes back. And um, in general we say that when the uh, antenna is properly connected, it runs properly, we say that the antenna runs one to one. So, um, only energy out, no energy back into the transmitter. And this circuit uh, was made purely experimental. It was not copied from one or another circuit. This is the output here with a coax plug and the input here to the transmitter on 27 MHz. This is how it was made. In fact very easy. A shielded box here. A wire from the uh, transmitter to the antenna and somewhere on that wire and that location is critical there is a diode, a resistor and a microamperimeter. So there are waves here traveling on this line on that wire here. Um, here they are rectified um, and this resistor only has the function that it limits the current through the microparameter. So here you can see that again. My camera constantly zooms in and out. Sorry for that. The tiny thing now in the middle is the typical germanium detection diode, the AA119, but you can also use other typical germanium detection diodes for this circuit. So part of the radio wave is sent back into that wire and here the resistor and here we have the meter. And I found that in this case with this uh, microparameter uh, or originally from an audio amplifier or so that uh, when the antenna run one on one uh, the meter moved to position 3. That also has to do with the place where you solder the diode. So when you solder it here or here or here or here it will matter. You have to find that out experimentally. And of course we have here a completely shielded case with a copper plate etc etc. So this video is only a video for people that like to do experiments on 27 MHz, perhaps on higher frequencies. I think the whole principle is, is proper, is correct. A shielded box, a wire inside where a wave travels and then somewhere on that line where the wave travels we detect it and rectify part 
of the electrical energy that a wave sends out. Typical germanium detection diodes are used, usable in this case.